Hello. Hello, good evening. Hi, Iris, how are you? How are you Hi. doing today? Much better, really, okay. much better, much better, yes. Okay, much are better. You, did you stay home or did you have, did you have? Yes, to... I stay home today. Okay. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow I have to go to the Ingenio, uh -huh. but I, yesterday um, and today I stay home. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Where but do you I live? Have, do you live far away from the from the mill, yeah, or do you? Live I, I, I live in uh, San Salvador, <laughs> and the ingenio. One of the of the ingenios um, is in uh, Sonsonate. Okay, so you do have to travel. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. But there's not um, many traffic. There's no traffic. Many mm -hmm. traffic. How do you Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not so, a, so you make it fast. So yes, you, I in one hour or hour and a half, I'm in Sonsonat. Okay, so you get there. Okay. Yes. Wow. But I mean, traveling, well, uh, how long have you been working for that mill? Mm, two safras. Mm -hmm. Oh, two years. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Almost two years. Two years. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. So traveling, I mean, for a lot of people, I don't know. It's, it, I guess you, you, you feel, you know, it's like part of your daily routine, but not a lot of people like to travel that far. No, well, it's not but that far, really, but yeah. It, it's tired, you know. I, it is when tiring. I, yes, when I come home mm -hmm. for the, the traveling, it is very tired. Yes. Yeah. I must imagine. Okay. Ernesto, good evening. How are you? Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I fine teacher, thank you. Okay. How was your day? Tell me. Uh a little bit uh, uh, stressed mm -hmm. because I am I have been doing my homework from the university. Uh -huh, okay okay yeah, yeah and also you're the closing the year you're almost closing half of the year right almost yeah it's the last month mm -hmm. okay so a lot of homework and a lot of stress i must imagine okay yeah <laughs> okay well remember that i sent you guys a some homework for you to do um do you have it ready by the way because i have mine ready <laughs> I have I I I couldn't done done it. Do it done it. Mm -hmm. I could have not. Yeah, I couldn't. I, do it. Have, I couldn't. Yes, do it. I couldn't do it. Okay. I have a very busy day today. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I but I did send you one on WhatsApp. Can you read it to me, Iris? I sent you okay. a picture. One you can pick. Um, yeah. one of the articles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me see because it's in my. Uh, in the phone of, of the office oh, i don't know I okay i can <laughs> oh. i can i can share it with you don't worry oh yeah thank you i think i sent you <clears throat> this one yes it's ask amy mm -hmm. that is a, an exercise of the platform mm -hmm. yeah um actually w w the idea it's for us to give like solutions using you mm -hmm. could do this, or you probably, you must, you shouldn't, you know, you must not, uh, depending on the same. advice. Like advice, very good. Yes. Um, can you read this one for me? Let me see if it's, yeah. It's yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear Amy, every fall, my sister, cousins, and a cousin sister-in-law have a weekend shopping excursion in our home city. We stay in a hotel, treat ourselves, 
shop for our children and go out for lunches and dinner. Mm -hmm. It is a great time to reconnect. I have a sister, yes, it's, uh, I have a sister, Wendy, whom we do not invite. She's offended to the point of tears when she finds we have, we have, she did not leave. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's cut. Let me just, uh, yeah. Uh, tears, we have, oh, hold on, I think it's not this one. It's the same one I sent you. True cause, hard feelings. Oh. Okay, yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. um, I had a sister, Wendy, da -da -da, to appoint the tears when she finds out we, we have not invited. Yes. My two sisters and I are very close in age, but Wendy hasn't been as close to this set of cousins as my sister and I have been through the years. We are all married, stay-at-home mom. Wendy is a divorced working mom with one child. There are several reasons we do not include her. We know she doesn't have very much money for such an outing. She also does not have many of the same interests as we do. We're all very active churchgoers while she only sporadically attends service. Plain and simple, she does not really fit in with us anymore. She takes it very personally. And last year even came over to my home announcing crying about it, which upset my children and caused my husband to threaten to call the police. If she did not leave. She did not leave. Now she barely speaks to me and has told our relatives that I am a horrible person, even though I've helped her. How can we get her to understand that she should perhaps find another set of friends whose lives and interests align more closely with hers? Sad sister. Okay, so this is a scenario. Ernesto, were you able to listen to it? I am, um, yeah. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to be the, okay, it's going to be ask Ernesto. So, Ernesto, tell us what would be your answer, what would be your recommendation to this sad sister who is writing about her situation. To put you into context eh, and put Rosibelos into context. And the rest who just joined, okay, Sarai, um, Iris is going to make a brief summary of what the situation is, okay? And Ernesto is going to be the one giving the solution or like a suggestion. And all of you can pitch in too, like giving suggestions based on the situation. Iris, can you just recap what the situation is with Sad Sister? That way everybody's okay. in Okay. Uh, Sad Sister has a, a sister whose name is Wendy. And she, she was very um, upset with her because Sad Sister went in a trip with uh, her other sisters and cousins. The thing is that Wendy was not invited because she, doesn't, she didn't fit with them. She's a divorced woman, she has one child, and the others are very churchgoers, and they have a lot of things in common, and Wendy not. So Wendy is very sad, and she are to, to sad sister, and it was a, a very, difficult moment that the husband of Sal's sister has to to call the police or oh, he's he's going he, he was going to call the police if she if if Wendy doesn't leave mm -hmm. uh, the house of Sal's sister so Sal's sister is very uh, worried because she she don't know how to uh, avoid this this thing and and try to to Wendy understand that she has to to know other people and to have other friends. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. 
dear Ernesto, tell us what is going to be your answer to her. What would you suggest her to do in this particular scenario? How can, how can she abort the situation? And how can she make her understand that she needs to socialize with other people, not just with her? Uh, I will say to the, to the sister, to I Nancy, I guess, mm -hmm. I will tell her to try to, to socialize with the other guys, maybe from his school. I don't know. She didn't say the, the age or how, how old was she. But okay. I will say she, she, should, she should go and try to make some friends, try to meet with another people, and maybe, maybe get into a group about a, a, a group who has the same interest as her. And maybe she she likes to she, she likes to cook or maybe she likes to to paint or she likes to sing. I will suggest her or I will tell her to go there and and meet another meet the other people. And, so maybe uh, people who share the uh, same interest than the the exactly. same interest that she has. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And um, what else? Let me see. And uh, I will suggest her to to tell her the, the truth without adopting because if he is trying to to avoid uh, to avoid to tell the this this situation to her to her sister it's more hazardous or most um problematic for the sister okay mm -hmm. super okay so can you help me read her answer here in dear sad this is the answer of Amy, the person who answered back, which I guess she's a psychologist or something. Can you read back to us the answer and her suggestion too, please? This part, dear sad. Okay, let's see. Give me a second. Uh, dear sad, first, let's establish that I agree with your sister. You're a horrible person. Obviously, you can do whatever you want and associate with or with or exclude who whomever you want. But you don't get to do this and also blame the person you are excluding for not fitting. The only for way not your fitting sister in. will for ever, not fitting in. Uh -huh. uh, for not fitting in. Uh -huh. And the only way your sister will ever fit in fit in will be uh, will be for you to make a room for her you're unwilling to do that and that is your choice but her being upset is completely justified and you will just have to live with that perhaps this is something you yeah. could ponder mm -hmm. from from your church church pew uh, because despite your regular att attendance you don't seem to have learned much. <gasps> wow, what do you guys think of her wow. answer? That was like, boom, straight to the point. Yeah. Okay, this is not what I'm agreeing with her. But <laughs> I agree with her, I am, no, yes. I agree with her, okay. I agree with her. Why, why yeah. so, tell us. Uh -huh. Because sad sister, <laughs> she, she, she put a, a label on, on Wendy. Mm -hmm. And she, she didn't give the opportunity to Wendy. They they don't know if she fits or no. Mm -hmm. Just okay. because she is divorced or because she is not a church goer, it doesn't matter. Well, is your family? Is your friend? Yeah. And then again, all around us, we're always going to be dealing with people who have different personality. We're never yes. going to find somebody who's just like us, right? They're always going to have different personalities, all the people we meet. And how do we make them fit in? It's simple. It's just make them, uh, what happens is that we don't take the time. I think that we don't take the time mm -hmm. to actually, we just don't want to deal with that type of situation because we always look for people that are similar to how we are. So when somebody's yes. opposite to you, it's it's very difficult for that person to actually take the time and and spend time with that person just because she or he seems different to you because he goes to a different church or he 
he's divorced, you're not, he doesn't like to socialize, you are, you're super popular. So you're mm -hmm. always going to have the yin yang, right? Like guess or the yin yang, yes. the opposite, mm -hmm. but it's true. Wow. Super straight to the point. I remember this, this um, column on La Prensa Gráfica, which is what I was looking for today, but there is, by the way, mm -hmm. she's actually an English teacher. I met her at the American school. We were co-workers and I used to give her a ride every Saturday afternoon because she used to live next to Veterinaria Los Héroes. Um, yeah, Veterinaria Los Héroes, right next to mm -hmm. Veterinaria Los Héroes in that little hill down, eh, Carta San Maria, the girl, the owner of Carta mm -hmm. San Maria. So, and I remember we would talk about situations every week. It was like, mm -hmm. you know, we would talk about all the letters she would receive. Now she, she lives, well, she stopped living here. She, she left the country. But she, I, I don't know if she still answers though, but at that time she would answer, when she was out of the country, she would answer from, I don't know, from Florida or from where, wherever she was at that time. And we would talk about how, you know, situations, sometimes we don't know what to do with this situation, but writing them down help mm -hmm. you vent and, 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 and take a different perspective from others around you, right? And, and give you suggestions mm -hmm. on what to do but she was never this direct. She would always give mm -hmm. advices in a nice way. But this dear Amy is super yeah. direct. Very straight to the point. Very assertive. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, so Ernesto, do you have your article? Rosie or Sarai, do you have your article? Do you guys have your article ready with you? Uh, I have one article, but okay. I don't know if it's correct. Just tell me. Okay, sure. I'm going to share the, the screen. Of course, go ahead. And decide okay, who do you second. want to, uh-huh. Sarai or Rosibel can read it for us. Or I can read it for you too. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yes. Yes, we're able to see it. Okay, and this is the article that I, fo I found. Okay. What do you want? We have Fer, we have Ricardo, Sarai. Who do you want? I will say fair. Okay, fair. Can you help us read, please, the article? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, dear John, I'm sorry, but I don't think we should stay together. I'm still working through my feeling for my ex-boyfriend. Beans, and I don't think it's fair to you to be in a relationship with someone who isn't and one hundred percent committed. This really has nothing to do with you. Our time together has been wonderful. I still remember how romantic that dinner that you made for me on our third date was. I hope that you will be able to find someone who is perfect for you. I hope that you can forgive me. I will still like to remind friends, if possible. Sincerely, Jane. Okay, so <clears throat> Ernesto, based on what you've read, you are dear Ernesto. I'm sorry, dear Fer. So what would you answer back to dear John? This sounds like the movie, dear John. What would you answer yeah. back to, uh huh, dear John? Me. I'm sorry, or Jane. Dear Jane. Uh huh. It's a dear okay. John or dear Jane. I just don't know. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't understand you. I have to answer what the the the, the letter mm -hmm. from Jane. No, er, Fed has to do it because you already answered oh, okay. uh, previously. So Fed has to answer back. What is his suggestion uh, regarding the situation? What's your suggestion, Fred? 
I don't know. <laughs> what would you suggest this person? What would you advise this person? I well, it, um, I suggest to Jane. I suggest Jane. I suggest Jane. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you? I suggest that don't worry because uh, maybe she she is uh, younger and beautiful and she can uh, meet and other people and and new relationships mm -hmm. and new boyfriends and and the, the life for her is still uh, short she's still long to okay. to to live i don't know uh -huh. okay very but, good thank you no that's fine good anybody else wants to pitch in you guys have any other suggestions when this type of situations happens imagine it's a friend who's asking for advice what would you suggest if this was a situation well, the first thing that I suggest, if if the person lives in the same country than, than her, is say it, but face to face. Mm -hmm. Okay, to face it. Not, yes. Okay. First. And then, yes, she, she has to be honest. And if she doesn't love him, well, the love is not, uh, no, no se fuerza, it's not first. You cannot force love. You, you cannot can't force, force love. love. Mm -hmm. Yes, you mm -hmm. cannot force love. True. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's true. What you're saying, it's so true. You can't force it. And then it's very difficult. Now, this is a, it's, it's easier, I believe, to give advices when it's non-related to love or non-related to situational or experiences you haven't gone through, right? It's easier mm -hmm. like if, okay, if somebody comes to me and tells me, you know what? I want to adopt, I can say, well, I'm adopted. So, because I, I, I have my experience as an adopted kid or as an adopted person, mm -hmm. but then you can't force other, I, I wouldn't be able to, to talk about, for example, I don't know, let me see, to give advices to somebody financially speaking. I'm very bad mm -hmm. with finances. I'm, I'm giveaway. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I can't really manage my money. So sometimes there are situations that you're very familiar with if you're going, you know, if yeah. you're, oh, if you're divorced and then somebody is going through a divorce and you can actually, you know, go over mm -hmm. that situation. Or if somebody's uh, going through a difficult situation, mourning because of, of a loss, somebody passed away mm -hmm. or, or et cetera. And, and you, you recently had somebody in your family who passed away as well. So when there's like situations in where they're related, yes. But when there's side situations like love, I think it's very difficult if you haven't experienced it in mm -hmm. this way, like long distance relationship. If you have never been in one, how can you advise somebody regarding that? It's very difficult yes. sometimes. Like it, it's very complex, but very good exercise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Our next one is going to be, I have Ricardo. Do you have your article ready? Hello, good evening. Good evening. And no teacher, I, I don't have a, Okay, I'm I will, sorry. It's okay, don't worry. I have one ready though. So you can read this one. Okay, you're gonna read it and you're gonna pick somebody from the audience, okay, to actually be your dear Amy. Okay. Answering back. Okay. okay, so I have the article. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay, please read our article for today. Okay. To change to change his sexuality. Dear Amy, I recently discovered that my son, who is 17, is an homosexual. We are part of a church group, and I fear if someone, if, if people in the group find out, they will make fun of me and for having a gay, a gay child. Child. He won't lose child. He won't listen to reason and he will not stop being gay. I feel he's, done, he's doing this just to get back at me for forgetting his birthday for the past three years. I am very busy. I'm very at busy work. Please help me make the right choice in life by not being gay. He won't listen to me, so maybe he will listen to you. Okay. Uh, should I continue? 
Uh, only that, feeling betrayed. That's whoever signs the, the letter. Thank you. Okay, pick somebody, Ricardo, from the audience to be your dear Amy. Okay, anybody or who has anybody? Any? Uh, who has not participated? Mm -hmm. um, Blanky. Okay. Hi. Hi, Blanky. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, me voy conectando, pero. So just to put you into context, this person has a gay son. They go to church and he feels he doesn't know how to deal with the situation. What's your advice? Okay. You have to give him an advice or a counsel. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It's okay, don't worry. Sarai, maybe, or Rosie, or Fer, or Iris, or Ernesto. Who wants to participate? What's your opinion? Well, this is a. I don't know what if if I'm <laughs> if I'm advising her. Uh, I will say that first she doesn't have to to felt guilty because she forgot his birthday that that she's that he's gay. <laughs> is his son her son and he has to accept him and support him and love him and he is not gonna change because he's going to church or going to a psychologist or no mm -hmm. is is he has he own personality and he's a sexually preference mm -hmm. so instead of of being frustrated or feeling bad or or feeling that what other people say she has to support his son and love him that's what i what i advise <laughs> okay thank you thank you yeah this is a then again it's a very difficult and it's very um it's a very complex topic like some people do get affected by it some people just see it like new generations like I, I see my kids right and they for them it's like so normal just to be surrounded mm -hmm. at just by yeah. as a, but then again my grandmother's generation my mom even they you know it's it's I guess it's something generational right so yeah. it's just about accepting others the way they are you just can't yes, change that accepting that's right and the, me teacher uh, yes, maybe give her a lot of uh, support, uh, mm -hmm. love, and uh, maybe get seats in professional help. Yes, it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you, you have to move on and continue with your life. There will be a lot of uh, criticism. I don't know how do you say. Criticizing? Uh, Criticando? Uh, criticizing, yeah. But... Uh, you have to deal with it and support your, 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 in this case, your son, and move on. Mm -hmm. But yes, I, I think she has an, uh, she has an opportunity to choose mm -hmm. or to, to give him an advice because sometimes this happens because there is a problem with the with the hormone. I don't know how to say that in English, and I have read and see some documentaries. And they say, as the doctor said, and they have been making a study, a studies about this, that it sometimes occurs that the hormone is uh, left in or is in less proportion than in the normal people. So as a consequence, as, as a result of this, the guy or the, 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 the boy feels uh, more and has uh, behavior like if he were at, uh, a girl. But uh, this has to be... A medical, uh, medical, um, 
how do you say this teacher? How do you say um report? Diagnose. Or, aha, diagnostico. Diagnose. Something like that. Yeah, because sometimes is 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 because he's left in this right urban. But not necessarily, because it's not 100% that it happens. In, in some cases, yes, it happens because they have more uh, feminine, or feminines, uh, hormones, uh, feminines. Mm -hmm. yeah, feminine or something like, uh, yes, some, sometimes, some cases, but mm -hmm. others, is, yeah, in other cities. Yes, uh, there are there are many things. It's very a complex. It's very <laughs> complex team. Yes, yes, yes. Now I have another question. But what happens? I do know, and maybe because then again, I have had a lot of students, and I know a lot of people. But what happens when? Because I know a lot of people who have been married, and whether men or women, and then all of a sudden they turn gay. They wow. not all the sudden they wow. they, they turn gay <laughs> because that they, they don't <laughs> they don't they don't go out of the closet and and maybe because of the pressure of the society mm -hmm. and the pressure of the church too of their family they can I, I have many friends that and and they are gay and um, it's very difficult because they're not feel free in some cases and they have to have a girlfriend or or boyfriend in case of she's a girl and just they to get married society. yes just, just to, to satisfy, satisfy society okay. and to deny who you are but it's always been there and there's many cases that they have his wife or his or their husband and they have another affairs with the same sex, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Very good. Who wants to help me read what she, what Amy answers back to this person to Betrayed? Who wants to help me read? Dear Betrayed, who wants to help me? I want to help you, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Dear Betrayed. Dear Betrayed, you will teach your son an important lesson by changing your own sexuality to show him so how easy it is. Try it for the next year or so. Stop being a, an heterosexual to demonstrate to your son that a person's sexuality is a matter of choice. To be, to be dictated by one's parents, the parents' church, and social pressure. I assume that my suggest, suggestion will evoke a reaction that your sexuality is at the core of who you are. The same is true for your son. He has a right to be accepted by his parents for being exactly who he who he is. When you forget a child's birthday, you're basically negating him as a person. It's like you are saying that you have forgotten his presence in the world. How very sad for him. Pressuring your son to change his sexuality is wrong. If you cannot learn to accept him as he is, it might be safest for him to live to live elsewhere. A group that could help you and your family navigate this is uh, org. This organization is founded for parents, families, friends, and all these of LGBT people and has helped countless families through this challenge. Please research and connect with a local chapter. I I relate this this message to something uh, when I was when you're a kid when in my case when I was a child, and when my parents would ground me like you can't go out and you would, you know the more they would say don't do it the more you would do it, don't go out don't go, I don't know they would always uh, my parents were very controlling, and I remember. I could never go out. I could never go to parties. I could, you know, I could never do anything. Long story short, I, I would, not that I would become rebel. I just, okay, I just waited for them to go to sleep and then I would ditch and I would escape and then I would come back. But I was never into drinking or my whole trip was going out dancing or going to the movies or going to a quinceanera party, etc. And then coming back, I was a, 
I was the designated driver of, of my group. Long story <laughs> short, I relate this to, it's very true. The more you tell kids, don't do it, no, don't, don't go this way, the more they're going to do it because they want exper- to experiment it or they want to uh, know what it is to, right? And just by negating it, I don't know, it's just like the more you tell somebody no, 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 the more they're going to do it to just, I don't know. So it's a very good advice. So pressuring your son to change, you know, pressuring your son to change his sexuality is wrong, he's, she said. So I think it's a very good advice. Like, and and I, I take it to myself for my kids. Um, and I want to show you a very good example because my kids asked me to show you this. My youngest son loves to do, I am, I love to do Dollar City stuff and crafts. And, you know, I'm very into that. I love a, anything that has to do with crafting. But my kid, every time he does something for me, he goes with pink. So as you see, the shoes here, the high heels, shoes, origami, high heel shoes. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Cinderella shoes, I call them. Uh, and long story short, he always uses pink. I don't, I, I don't like pink. I, it's not that I just, I just, I'm, I have never been a pink girl, but I'm not going to tell him don't do it because for him, that's a way to, you know, everything has to be pink and, you know, mm-hmm. for him, right? Mom, pink, love, etc. Mm-hmm. But I cannot tell him no, because if I do it, then I'm sending the wrong message mm-hmm. to him. And that's what I don't want. Right. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I relate to this in that way, in other contexts, in another context, but in that way, he has f- a pink flip flops. He chose mm-hmm. them. He said, I, those are very cool to go to the beach. You know, they're pink with blue. And, and I said, are you sure? And I, and I made the mistake of asking him like, are you sure you want those pink uh, flip flops? And he said, yeah, they're super cool. And I said, oh, okay. And, and, and then I, but I, I, I said, why am I doing that? You know, I was like, yeah, pink is for, I was thinking pink is for girls, not for boys. I would have been, if I would have said something different, then I would have sent the wrong message to him. So I've noticed that he likes neon pink a lot, but not because he likes neon pink a lot means that he is, he is, or I don't know. Right. But then again, I'm not going to send the wrong message to him. I'm not going to pressure him. I'm just going to let him experiment as a mom. That's just from my perspective. I don't know you guys. What do you say? I am, I am agree with you. <laughs> yes, I'm agree with you. I agree. I, I have a son, uh, but he's, he's 20 years old. Mm-hmm. And I, I always um, let him be him you know he loves tattoos and well i got tattoos and he's already have many tattoos and an earring but he's how is the is the the way he express himself so exactly you let mm-hmm. him be You're letting yes him be. yes 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 okay in this case i think i had the opportunity to give the the, the other side of the or the other point of view because I'm 22 years old <laughs> so I think yeah it, it's I agree with you teacher you have to let them to choose what they want to to use what they want to wear but uh, sometimes I feel like if there is the reason uh, like a male near or maybe relating with the with the the, the boy it's most more probably that she, he will be influenced and he will try to do some things uh, related to a girl that is not is not moral. So, I mean, it's not it's not incorrect. But uh, I I think it's uh, better to uh, for the boys to have a my personality in their life. But that's only my point of view. <laughs> okay, super. Yeah, you're right. It's like not having both roles, right? Like having a father and a mother. It's just having a mother. So he will be more, uh, He's he. what he's going to do is just towards his mom, right? That's what you're trying to say. Because yeah, there's not a father. To, he has to have the two sides to ah, try okay. to, to be focused in the middle and to, to know 
the, the best of this side and the best of the other side and he can choose what is the, the best thing at, the, at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, super. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. Anybody else has another article to share? Lanky, Radames, Fer. You guys have another one to share? I have, I have an, an, an article. Okay, go ahead. Pitchin, right. Okay. Pitchin, pitchin. Uh, dear, dear Maria. Okay. <laughs> I have I have known a woman that I, that I like a lot, and I went out with her many times. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have had a good time together. I won't continue to see her, but she has a relationship with her ex-husband, mm -hmm. and my old mentality may will be a problem. Mm -hmm. They are best friends, and he come in frequently from her house. And she said, she said me that this is for her child. Okay. Peter okay. uh, and cat time. The truth, I don't, I don't think so. You have a problem yet, but it's very probably that you have it if you have a serious relationship with her, that lady. You could have some problems with her lifestyle. My suggestion, you need to think seriously. Wow. Okay, very good. What do you guys think? What's your point of view in this situation? Uh, repeat the article. No. Uh, yeah, maybe can you share your your screen to to have the opportunity to read the the, uh, the article. Can you see that? No. 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 Not. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. okay. Click on right where you have all your little buttons. Are you using your phone or your computer? I can't share. At the bottom of. Okay. Oh, okay. there you go. Mm -hmm. Now, there you go. Okay. I want to continue seeing her. Seeing her. Seeing. I N G. I N G. Next to C. Take away the N in the middle. Uh, um, wait. My hey. old. I'll write it on, on text here on WhatsApp. Um, when you have an old mentality, that means maybe not old mentality, but old fashioned, like old school. Old, fashion. old school, it could be no, old school no, or old fashioned. Uh, old school. Old school or old fashioned mentality. Mm -hmm. Wow. I. I can relate and I want to participate. I can relate because I was married like for 10 years and now he's my best friend. And we are super good friends, for example. I'm, I'm just giving you my point of view from a situation that I live. Um, I was married, but then at the end we were like, oh, you know what? I think that we are better off like friends instead of a couple. My son was like, my youngest son was like a year old when this happened. But now my kids never suffered a divorce because we're super good friends. Like we, you know, right now because of the quarantine, they don't get to see him, but we would be on and off. And we live together, even though we were separately separated, we live separately in the same house. And, you know, he could just have, you know, and whenever 
I met his girlfriends, they would be like, oh my God, you know, like they would be surprised in the way of, of how I would treat them. Because then again, I, I'm the type of person that thinks the way you treat others, that's the way they're going to treat your kids. So I would be very nice. And, you know, for Mother's Day or for, for Valentine's Day, I would have little details with them. I, I would hug them every time they come in the house. I mean, I, I was very open too. And then, I don't know, that's my point. That was my, uh, that, that was the type of situation I lived. So we're really good friends and I'm very good friends with his, because the girls are not the problem, I think. Then what happened in the past happened in the past and we're good friends. So my kids never went through that bad part of a divorce because we get along so good. I remember that even when we got divorced, we went even we went to celebrate and we went to have breakfast after signing the that was how yeah. awesome it is. So but I don't know. It's just that was my story. And and then starting to go out with other people and I would treat them and he would treat mine the same way. So my kids know like, oh yeah, you know, they, the, we have separate, you know, relationships and and they like that. I mean but it's just like that but that was just my story i guess people all have different stories i don't know for me i don't think that would be a problem it's all a matter of confidence i will suggest to to the captain here mm -hmm. go for her man i mean <laughs> <laughs> because okay. she if he gave you the opportunity to share some time and to go out and have a good time together mm -hmm. because she is not uh She's not like um, a gusto. How she's not comfortable. It? She's not comfortable with the other guy, man. So exactly. Mm -hmm. You have the opportunity there. Continue be super, super good with her, and continue, man. You can do it. <laughs> I think that you know you can't uh, stop. You know, when there's when there has been a relationship in the past and there's kids, eh, the father or the mother will always be there. Yes, that's I mean, right. it's mm -hmm. and then again, it's on you how open mind you are. Mm -hmm. That you have to, you have two options: eh, have headaches all the time and be mm -hmm. grumpy, stressed out, or just have the time of your life. Just move the page. I know it's difficult. But then move the page along, start your own story, and be, try to be, you know, because then again, you have to think, you're not only thinking about you anymore, you're thinking about others, your kids. I don't know, I, 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 I learned that with my kids, and it worked fantastically to the point that, you know, they have had a happy life. They, they have no idea that we were divorced, or they never even saw us fighting, or so, and, and then... In separate houses they're so used to it i don't know but it's just the uh, being open mind i guess that's just my humble opinion. i i i believe i believe that a uh, captain uh, he has to let go uh, the girl uh, because his feelings uh, probably will uh, can can betray, betray uh, him. Can betray, him. can betray him. Yes. I know, really. But I what think. if, what if at the end you you stay with that? What what would have happened if, with that sensation of, what would have happened if? Mm. Yeah. Because there Probably is never I a feel... try. How you never tried at the end. Probably uh, the, the, his feelings can be tried because um, he has all passion mentality and this is very difficult for for him, I think so. And then if you can live uh, without uh, some mindset, uh, then uh, it's better let it go, the girl. Okay. What do you guys think? Should Captain let the girl go or not? What do you think? I, 
I vote that he should give her a try. What do you guys think? I think if if he if he oh sorry sorry. No, go go ahead. Oh, okay. I, if, if he thinks that she's the one, he he have to and to to be secure of him because if they good time him if she has something to hide maybe she doesn't uh, didn't tell him about his ex-husband that they have a, a good relationship but if if he is not secure of himself and if he's a jealous person he's gonna suffer yeah he thinks mm -hmm. it's not about what is really happened mm -hmm. okay what do the rest of guys think sarai fair rosie what do you guys think What do you guys think? Okay. Well, guys, so this was our activity for today. Tomorrow, by the way, before I forget, if not, I'm going to forget to tell you. We have a little quizito, a little exam, something really cool I have there. Okay. We're going to practice a couple of topics with little exams, online exams. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to do a grammar practice through exams if you have questions with the platform tomorrow is your opportunity um, for your final exam because tomorrow is our last session for intermediate three and then we're restarting intermediate four i don't know when yet i don't have the date but stay tuned just remember your hr teams to send all the documentation and i think they sent you like a little message today from english corporativo that way you can have the papers ready for intermediate four already okay so it was interesting. It was an interesting, witty, witty talk, conversation, mm -hmm. advice. It was interesting. It made us think. Then again, English is all about practicing. The more you get to practice, I really appreciate to all of you who join night to night on our sessions because the activity, the idea is to make it fun, different from what you actually get to see on the platform using some of the topics, of course, of the platform. But then again, I'm interested in you talking, okay? So I'm trying to get to do activities in where you talk more than me, because that's the idea. I want to listen to you practicing, okay? Um, so see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. You are awesome. Thank Bye. You. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Me. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye Coquetator. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.